hello guys welcome once again to my youtube channel my, my name is Claire Dusigbe so today I'm going to show you how to run um, biometric fingerprint student course attendance system in Visual Studio 2017 all right so this is uh, this the um, source code so I'm just going to double click on the solution file to open it in Visual Studio so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel just click on the subscribe button below so that once we upload videos like this you can quickly get um, a notification all right and if you like the video click on the like button thank you so much for doing that so we are waiting for it to load on visual studio So it's still loading, we just have to... Okay, so our project has finished um, loading. So we have the uh, project files on the Solution Explorer. All right, so we have used, for the fingerprint reader, we have used uh, Digital Persona um, UIU um, reader, and we have also used the libraries okay um for it so for the image capture we have used emg cv okay to capture our image and for the database for the database we have used uh, we have this easy and very simple to use that's what we have used here okay so i'm just going to um start building the project enable um student to take attendance for each of the courses that they attend all right in the university or any other um institutions okay so if you get the source code you can decide to modify it the, um, the way you want okay so the aim of it is just to teach you or just to show you how to um, capture fingerprint how to verify how to, how to identify and of course how to um, use it to take attendance okay um, so um, I'm gonna click on admin login the username is admin and the password is also, also admin So guys once again thumbs up thank you for doing that so how um we are going to enroll our fingerprint or capture our data okay so before we do that i'm going to show you this um, student id is auto generated i've used cryptography to automatically generate this id that's why it's read only but if you don't want it you can decide to enable the um, text box for the student ID so that someone can easily uh, type the or enter the student ID if you wish to do that you can do that okay you can also um, redesign or modify the whole form as you wish okay so for this I'm going to take my I'm going to capture my image stats okay so for me to do that I'm going to click on start camera so I'll click on capture all right so i've captured my 
image as I told you before I use I've used I've used I'm going to enter my details my name is Cletus Igbe and uh, of course my department of course is going to be computer science and the semester I'm going to select first semester okay so this is uh, these are all demo data all right so of course I've connected my fingerprint reader okay so I'm going to click on capture uh, or scan finger so just click on scan finger so as you can see the fingerprint reader is connected I'm just going to click on so I'm going to place my finger on the scanner same finger on the scanner four times to scan my fingerprints as you can see the output is very good the digital personal UIU fingerprint reader is, is what I'm using okay so my fingerprint uh, template is safe so as you can see everything is okay all right so i'm just going to click on okay and then i'm just going to close this form and i'll take a look at what i've entered if everything is okay by me and then i'm going to click on save all right so the record is safe has been safe all right so this, this is what we have here just a snippet of it okay so um i'm going to click on as you can see the student id has changed all right so it's auto generated it cannot be the same all right so so i'm going to click on close so um before i check the attendance report i'm going to take attendance okay so that i'll show you how that works I'll go back to home so I'll click on very clock in and clock out all right so you can change it if you want all right so before that uh, let me show you how to add a course so let's go back let's show the courses that we are going to add course so CSC 4104 okay so I'm going to say advanced websites or web developments all right so for the semester I'm going to click first semester then I'll submit save okay so guys you can totally modify everything okay the way you want it all right so you're free to do that the time in so for this i've used auto auto um suggestions to automatically uh you know suggest courses that has been registered okay courses that we have uh, in our database it will automatically suggest it based on the first letter or second of the letters that you've entered okay it's amazing all right so I'm going to to start with the first okay all right advanced web development that's first semester course I'm going to proceed to take attendance all right so I'm going to place the same finger that I've scanned and I've captured I'll place it on my fingerprint to take attendance so do that all right so one 
advanced web development all right so this date and uh, the time is 10 59 my time is in gmt last 24 hours i'm of course present okay so let me go back and uh, probably uh, course all right so i'm going to take attendance for the second course so let's go back and uh, uh, which of the courses let's enter this software engineering so i'm going to click on proceed to take attendance i'll place same finger on my scanner to take attendance okay right just for demo that purpose that's how i'm doing this okay so let me go back and do the right thing so i'm going to uh clock out for the first course all right so i've attended i've finished attending the lecture i'm going to clock out first uh, for the first course okay I've clocked out for the first course so I'm going to also see how I can clock out for the second course remember to clock out of course you won't be permitted to even place your hand on the scanner you might not even see the scanner to place or to um, verify your uh, fingerprint print and of course uh, um, clock out okay so I'm doing this because of uh, uh, demo purpose okay so I'm going to place my hands one more time on the scanner okay um let's see how our attendance reports will look like so i'm going to go back to the admin and log in as the admin remember the admin password is admin and the username is admin okay so let's go see how file so i'm going to show you how to do that all right so um for the report, uh, we have decided to um, place two uh, uh, date time pickers right there. So you can select weekly, daily, monthly, date range attendance, okay, as a case maybe for um, students, all right. And you can also check um, a, partic a particular how many times a, a a particular student have attended um, classes okay so from let's say today I think it's today I, I, I just started all right so I'm just going to from today to today all right so view attendance okay so these are all the data that we have currently for this date range that is in the database so um, I'm going to check how many students how many times have attended classes myself so auto suggestion once again i'm going to click on this okay so two times as you can see that i've attended uh, classes all right so i'm going to export this to ask i'm going to attendance demo okay so today is 23rd uh, december 2021 just for us to know the exact file so click on save modify it if you get the source code you can you, you are free to modify everything all right so this is how you know this works all right so the attendance for 
a particular course this is one of them all right so in my next video or lesson i'm going to i'm going to design a program that will capture your 10 fingerprint okay it will capture your 10 fingerprint and this time around it's not going to be for a particular course all right a student comes to um comes to the or comes to the school all right so attendance will be taken that each that that uh, student has arrived and has taken attendance okay for that day all right not for the course this time around and when the student or the child leave the school the child would also take attendance okay that he or she is leaving the school all right so 10 fingerprints all the 10 fingers would be captured and any of the finger any of the fingers will be used for verification all right let's say for instance you have uh, you got yourself injured with the thumb you can use your index finger you can use any of the fingers to uh, verify or take attendance okay i'm going to do that in a couple of days and i'm going to create a demo like this and upload it okay so guys okay now let's quickly check let's quickly log out and check our is it is in csv file i'm going to open it right away just to show you how this works expand this double click this to expand double click this to expand double click this to expand amazing so guys as you can see everything works well so you can decide to format this okay the way you want it okay and of course uh, print it out or probably back it up as, as the case may be so guys if you haven't subscribed click on the subscribe button okay if you like the video